One of the coolest things I love talking about are guns and gear, in this case, knives. So I have a dealer's catalog, the Benchmade 2015 uh, booklet. We are going to go through it briefly. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about philosophy or, or needs for particular styles, one over the other. Just what I like in a knife, what I think is cool, and we'll throw in a few knives that I have already which sport some features as to why I might like something. So hopefully it'll be entertaining. Uh, I got a little eye candy, you know, here for you, 10 millimeter Glock 29. Uh, you know, big is always better, but not every time. So let's dive right in. So the front cover is pretty sweet, but I like this probably the best out of anything. A lot of companies leave out the important details as to how to look through your catalog, what is important with the designations for names, uh, blade shapes if you're kind of newer to knives or, or distinguishing features of a particular knife. And then what's special about their categories? Where do they think the knife should be used? So this is pretty cool. Uh, they also have a, a MSRP breakdown, which is really nice. And then the other thing is, I'll kind of show this up really quick. These are new products for 2015. So if you want just to know what's new, if you're already a Benchmade fan, it shows you the page numbers and the knives. And then on the next page, is the remaining lineup. Uh, it's kind of hard to do a close-up, so we'll just ignore that. Gold class, for people with more money than brains, so we'll skip that. Blue class, that's the two knives that you see here. Why we have a push-button ambidextrous lock. Uh, I guess it's the future for 200 bucks. I, I really love the coloration on that. It does away with the plain old black, so it's a nice touch. Looks good with blue jeans. Very clean lines, uh, assisted opening, I'll take it, 154 CM, I like it, price point's about right. Uh, weight is not, oh, wait, 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 5.4 ounces, a little stout, but for a three and a half inch blade, very, very nice, I like it. Wish they'd put a little better jimping, not that round stuff up top. Uh, what do I mean? This is even a little bit better. Um, well, yeah, you get the idea. I don't want to make this too long and nitpick everything. Just, just few observations. Uh, barrage. I wish I had my roommates. He has one. Uh, picked it up used. Decent knife. Uh, I like uh, the more stout on the mini over the larger one. But that said, there I, I still prefer that over the Tonto. All na knives as a as a standard. I like plain over serrated, but serrations do have a place. Uh, bolster is not a fan. I love the volley. Why is that? It looks just like the lion steel as far as how they they put the I guess you yeah, I don't know what you call the texturing, but the milling uh, process it looks almost identical. So I really love uh, this. The one thing I don't like is it's black. There, there's too many black knives out there. I want some accents. Uh, you'll see later in the catalog. There's a few that have hardware accents, which I think would make this knife pop. Uh, but for the price point, again, about 170 190 for Benchmade. Again, this is MSRP, so you'll find it a little cheaper. The Emissaries, very classy, very elegant, but I'm extremely cautious with these very aggressive corners, uh, three spots on the handle, and the very smooth texture. It might be textured like the 940. In fact, it probably will be with the anodizing. Uh, it's actually got a little bit of grip to it, but at the same time, if those sharp areas uh, might catch your finger a little wrong. It's not going to be great. I'd probably choose a titanium uh, Handle this kind of like a tombstone style with the, the, the edges kind of folded in a little bit Nice and clean and round and I like the little little dig outs there for the, uh, the liner lock that clip too I'm not a big fan of, of Machined clips versus just a sheet of metal such as this. I love the deep carry there, but this looks awesome. Uh, I hope it hope it works well for them. The deep carry though on these guys, fantastic. I'm getting a little long-winded already. Let's keep going. Finger groove knives, big and blocky, probably effective, but not a big fan. Uh, what do we have here? This is where I'm talking about the accents. It's very simple. Just the just the pivot point it has a blue spacer. Now it's carbon fiber, so it's already done up really well. But uh, you know, of the two, definitely have this one for the style. Move over here to the valet. This is probably my top three favorites for many reasons. Uh, start off price. Steel is your M390. Super premium stainless steel. We also have 
we have a uh, three inch blade, 2.96. $200 price point, deep carry pocket clip, very classy, oh, let's see if I can show you that, almost like a denim looking pattern. I don't know how that's gonna show up on there. It has a, it doesn't look like a plain grain texture, it actually looks like a wooden grain to a point. Uh, so that extremely narrow, uh, weight, 2.1 ounce for a 3 inch blade. This is a home run for sure, the 485 Valet, one of my top picks for sure. This guy, no, too classic looking, I don't understand why you put a lanyard, maybe, there's no pocket clip so I get why you put a lanyard, but I would not put a high dollar knife in the deeps of my pockets with my keys. Not gonna happen. Here we go, the one I already have, the 940. Um, of the three blade shapes and colors and stuff, I actually like the the sharper point here, but this is a utilitarian blade for sure. I prefer a coating, but this was a, a D2 steel, which your typical steel is CPM S30V or S90V, depending on which model you get. So just options there, flavors. This is also a Hall of Famer. At one point, I, I think, I'm not positive, I think REI did a special on these. Um, they, they occasionally will run particular brand Benchmades through REI. Um, Leatherman was there as well. They have different handle colors. I could be completely off there, but I, I at least know they carry them. This is ultra slim. It's a little bit weak as far as handle because they have to give up something, but for just daily use, phenomenal blade. That doesn't get in the way, so I like that. The, some thumb studs will do that, stick out too much. So basically, they've taken what I like, made it heavier. So would I get it? No, I'd still keep with the plastic. If I'm going that lightweight, I want the lightest I can get. I don't want something that looks cooler or anything like that. Now, change the color handle, that would be a neat step. But if I want G10, I'll, I'll get a beefier knife. This, these two knives, remind me a lot of, dare I say, Kershaw. Now let's, let's bring one out here. Here's Kershaw Chill. What's different about that? Small things, nitpicky things. It's a bland G10 black knife. That's all I'm going to tell about that because it's not worth your time. There's another cool photo. All right, fly fishing. That's a pretty neat spot. Guys, Wellington's on. Okay, they made these huge, huge, big deal last year of the flipper, their first ever flipper. Definitely go this one for, again, the texturing and the contrast, although the sand or the, the tan coloration is pretty sweet. I do like the, the pocket clip. Now these are just stout knives. That's why I don't really think I'll ever get one. It's kind of beefy and clunky. I'd much rather have the mini onslaught if I, if I were to get either. Now it's a thumb stud, but hey. All right, this is the meat and potatoes of Benchmade if, if I had to guess which one. The Griptilian, it is a, there's a reason why I own one. Uh, now I have, I, I don't know what version this is. This is the 555, so I don't know if they still make that. Um, they do make a, still make the, the handle colorations here. You got sand, OD, orange, yellow, blue, pink. So something to float your style. Thumb hole, thumb stud, serrated, non serrated, uh, Tonto, Sheep's foot. I don't know, whatever blade you want. This is my favorite blade shape, the exact one I have. Now let's leave it at that. Excellent prices. You can find them around the street for $55 to $75, depending on your flavor. There you go, uh, breast cancer awareness model. This is neat that you can engrave your knife, I'd say, and also switch the handle scales one per side if that's something you want to do. I will say that you're going to pay their MSRP if you do that but it is a way to end up with something like a graduation present. I think that would be pretty sweet. Uh, the H2O family, their dive knives. Mm, I'm not a diver, so no interest. This is a, a, what I would say a tombstone shape. I don't like it because they would be very uncomfortable. It probably grabs well on that corner and that little lip, but it's also something if you're going to use this knife a lot, uh, it might dig in a little bit more. Awesome looking blade. I think it would be effective. You know, I don't know if they call that blood groove anymore, but I think it's over the top. The Torrent, uh, sharp looking knife. Uh, I like the simple thing here, but I think if you're going to jazz it up, do you like the titanium? Like a different color again. I'm all about the contrast and subtlety, things like that. Oh, here you go, the Bally Song. My only Bally Song is this cheap, I don't even bear or whatever, whoever makes that, 30 bucks or whatever. 
So if you ever wanted to buy one, this is the one to get. Not this carbon fiber do da da, but just the the plain steel. It flips really well. You can get a trainer if you want to. Uh, they're they're bushcraft knives. I don't know. They're, the Ontario Ranger I think is about similar size, about half the price. That's probably the one I'd go with. But these, if you know, if someone gave this to me, I definitely appreciate it. Um, but I think it's a little overpriced for just taking out in the woods and, and that size of blade. It, it's good at what it does, uh, not my thing. This is definitely more me. The, the sheaths are mm, nice for, it's a bench made sheath, put it that way. It's what they would want with their blades. Uh, I'd rather just have a, a cheap plastic one and be fine. Because these are essentially machetes all sudden done or heavy blazed. And I like this one better. They'll chop a little more, but orange handles are awesome. Hunting knives, I'm just going to kind of breeze through this truthfully, uh, I'm not a hunter. It shows you the difference of, of why certain steels might be a little better. Consistency in the steel. Uh, again, you know, neat color, handles, textures. You know, little details are important though, like the the, the grip up front and back as well, because you're, you're holding up the knife. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be in here, Lion Steel, I believe, or not Lion Steel. Um, I'll, there's a company that they also co-produce a little bit cheaper, it looks very similar to those designs. And the black class, same thing as we had in the blue class, the assisted opening, but this one's more an auto. I um, don't know. Alright, OTF knives, Citadels, Infidels, whatever they are, and Paragon, I, I don't know. I've never held either. I'd say this is probably the way to go, a little bit more grip, but a black class knife is, is very specific. I mean, I'm, I'm just cruising through these. No you know, push daggers, okay. These are cool. Uh, actually, I had a co-worker pick it up. I like the uh, the saw back, if you will, the serrated back. And did a paracord handle. The sheath is very, very nice, very minimal. And this is just the folder counterpart. I, you know, I, I think it's a, a pretty sweet blade. One piece construction, so you're not going to have anything break. Um, no interest. Looks too plain. I mean, I know it's called the Black Class Knives. I don't like bolsters either, but add some flavor to it. Now these are really cool, the triage. These have always been favorites. I think they're a little overpriced for what they are, but they have rounded noses for uh, rescue guys, and they have the hook. You know, if you're too lazy to bring that out, you can use the blade as well, so you don't jab yourself. I think they're really cool offerings. I think uh, if someone in the field would love these. I, I don't use them daily like that, so I can't explain. This handle is phenomenal. The blade, not so much. So make a normal blade and I'd be interested. What I mean by that is the serrations are okay, but I'd rather have a plain edge. If that tanto is going to be a tanto, pronounce it a little bit more. I, I don't know. Okay, as plain as this is, I like the pocket clip. They could have made it a little deeper, but that's okay and really nice curves. So contrasting these two. See how sharp those are? How smooth this is? That's what they should make the handle more like. Um, but I do like the assisted or the basically auto knife in this sense. Lock bars, I don't know if you need them. I guess it's a feature they have. I don't know. These knives are, I mean, Retail above 200 or MSR above 200, so you gotta be careful with what you're spending your money on. But if that's your thing, go for it. I have held one of these. That's why I mentioned earlier that that blade shape does grab well. I love the aluminum. It's pretty sweet. Hopefully, I'm not taking up too much of your time. I'm just kind of cruising through what catches my eye. Uh, push daggers again. Eh, not not my thing. These are awesome. The rescue hooks, the different hook lengths just to have in your, your, your gear, I think an excellent option. I don't own one myself, but under about 30 bucks, you can easily own one of these. Come with nice nylon sheaths. If you're concerned about your safety in any situation where you might need to utilize a, a webbing or a strap cutter, even fabric cutter that show boots and all that, buy one. 
Then here we have the uh, glass breaker combo with the uh, thing. I think a rescue me just for the, you're only going to use them once or twice. I think a rescue me would be better value, but if you want a, a nicer one. Pens, uh, MSRP 125 to 255. I don't know, it, definitely too much. Swag, uh, if you like sport and bench made, great. I love these kind of hats. The one they're more subtle. You actually have to see what it says. If, if you're not into it, who cares? It's not as obvious as the logo, but I think those are pretty sweet. And then, you know, bottle openers, different Liberty bottles. Those are pretty cool if you can get one of those. Uh, you know, how to take maintenance kits. Some of these tools, the Benchmade uh, folding toolkit, that's actually pretty useful if you have a lot of knives. I don't own one, but my friend does and he swears by it. And then, you know, if you want to display your own case in your own house, it's only two grand. And you can upgrade your sheaths if you want them. You can buy tech locks. So that's a nice feature you add. Life Sharp service, it's, it's nice they explain this. Most people don't utilize this. You can send it back to Benchmade for the life of your knife, get it sharpened for free. Keep your original box, that's how they operate with it. And there we go. They're, they're reasoning as to why they are bench made. So a little bit more explanation on the designers um, that produce these shapes and designs if you want to know a little more about each one, as well as the features built into the knives. Blade steels, and this is cool. It actually gives the breakdown of which steels have which content. So if you're really curious to see maybe rust prevention or strength or hardness, this is a quick, you know, D2, 154 CM. What's the difference? Different carbon content, mag manganese, uh, all these different nickel, that sort of thing is pretty cool. Just a quick spec out on, on what they commonly use. You know, illustration on their hardware and handles. So dealer catalogs have a little bit more oomph to them. They had the, the specs. Let me just kind of you know, bring one of these up. So you can see it's got price, specs, weight. This is what all catalogs should have. That's why I want to give this air time. A lot of even dealer catalogs don't have this specific to it. So thanks for staying tuned, guys. I uh, always appreciate you stopping in. Leave some comments down below if you have one of these knives you want to put in some input in there. Thanks for sticking around. I'll keep using my Benchmades if you want to pick up one. Where was it? The Valet, I think, is the one, the winner this year. So we can find it. We'll close out on that. There it was. That, my friends, is a 2015 pick. Alright, thanks for staying tuned, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.